using lagrange multiplier technique you find the extreme value of the function x q plus 8 y q plus 64 z q when x y z that is equal to 1 from lagrange equation we know the lagrange function f x y z is equal to f x y z plus lambda into phi x y z here f x y z this is called the objective function here the objective function is given by x s q plus 8 y q plus 64 z q this function you are given and you are given with a constraint this is called the constraint or the condition that is x y z equal to 1 so here in lagrange equation you have a constraint equation sorry you have a objective function and you have a constraint condition this is the constraint condition and here lambda is called the lagrange multiplier so this is the lagrange equation f x y z this is equal to the objective function plus lambda that is the lagrange multiplier uh, into the constraint or the condition and the here the uh, function is given that is the objective function is given x s q plus 8 y q plus 64 z q plus lambda here uh, we will write a lambda means the lagrange multiplier Uh, multiplied by the constraint function uh, cons or condition and how to solve the lagrange equation you take the partial derivative you take the partial derivative of the lagrange function uh, with first with respect to x then with respect to y then with respect to z if you take the partial derivative of this function with respect to x if you take the partial derivative of this value then that will be equal to 3x square plus lambda yz that is equal to 0 or 3 x square will be equal to minus lambda yz and if you multiply x in both the sides you will get 3 x square is equal to minus lambda xyz suppose this is equation number 1 similarly you can also find out the partial derivative of a with respect to y that will be equal to 0 and if you take the partial derivative of this objective function then this will be equal to uh, this will be equal to 8 into uh, 3 24 y square plus lambda xy sorry xz that is equal to 0 so 24 y square will be equal to minus lambda xz so multiplying y on both the sides you will get 24 yq is equal to minus lambda xyz this is equation number 3 similarly by taking the partial derivative of a with respect to z you will get 192 zq minus lambda xyz so you have three equations and the three in the right hand side of the three equations you have same value minus lambda xyz so you can write 3x square plus sorry 3x q okay this is 3x q so 3x q that will be equal to 24 yq that will be equal to 192 zq so we may write xq will be equal to 8 yq that is equal to 64 zq or x equal to 2y is equal to 4z so you you now found out the relation between x y and z now what you do you write the constraint condition the constraint condition is given x y z equal to 1 and now you use this x y z value in this constraint condition here if you substitute y value that will be equal to x by 2 if you substitute z value in terms of x then there that will be equal to x by 4 so x multiplied by x by 2 multiplied by x by 4 that will be equal to 1 so uh, x will be equal to 2 similarly if you solve for y that is x value in terms of y that is equal to 2y then multiplied by y then z value in terms of y will be equal to y by 2 so y value will be also equal to 1 similarly you solve for z so z value will be equal to half then what you do you put these 
थ्री वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स वाई एंड जेड इन द ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन द ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन एफ एक्स इज गिवेन बाय एक्स एस क्यू प्लस एट वाई क्यू प्लस सिक्सटी फोर जेड क्यू सो इफ यू सब्सटीट्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वाई एंड जेड इन दिस ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन देन यू कैन फाइंड आउट द एक्सट्रीम वैल्यू ऑफ दिस ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन एंड द एक्सट्रीम वैल्यू ऑफ दिस ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन विल बी इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर इन दिस वे यू कैन फाइंड आउट द कॉन्स्टेंट मैक्सिमाइजेशन बाय यूजिंग लैग्रांस मल्टीप्लायर इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वील ऑल्सो डिस्कस अदर प्रॉब्लम्स लाइक सो दैट द रेक्टांगुलर सॉलिड ऑफ मैक्सिमम वॉल्यूम दैट कैन बी इंस्क्राइब्ड इन ए स्पीयर इज ए क्यूब एंड बाय यूजिंग लैग्रांस मल्टीप्लायर यू फाइंड आउट द यू प्रूव दिस Uh, from this one, or you can solve this problem.